Hello and Guru Scott. This video is going to be a review of our 2015 Volkswagen Passat Limited. This is a replacement vehicle because our Suzuki unfortunately recently had an unscheduled demise and so you won't be seeing any more Suzuki videos. I'm sorry folks. But now you'll be seeing Volkswagen Passat videos. We picked the Passat because I've been working on a lot of these Passats for friends and I know it's a well-built car and we got a pretty smoking deal on this one so I'm pretty happy with it so this is the outside the exterior is called platinum gray metallic paint and the interior is going to be Titan black and we'll show you that here in a minute so this comes with a 1.8 liter TSI engine with direct injection a six-speed automatic transmission <clears throat> made in Japan by ASIN 17 inch wheels hand cooked tires and two um, 215 width fog lights and chrome trim that's not available on the lower models. So we'll um, open up the hood and show you some of the engine compartment and talk a little bit about that as this is a turbocharged 1.8 liter. The engine's a Gen 3 1.8 liter turbocharged Volkswagen engine and it's a transverse mounted engine and this is a front wheel drive vehicle. As you can see the engine compartment is flawlessly laid out by German design which I like that. Everything's in its place exactly where it should be. The only thing I don't think I like, and I know this from working on these vehicles already, is they're very hard to service. A lot of things aren't really made for user service as they want you to use the dealer for everything. So um, I'm gonna see if I can get a shot of the turbocharger which actually sits between the engine and the bulkhead of the firewall. So we're gonna try to get the camera in there and see if you can get a shot of the turbocharger and it's pretty compactly stuffed in there. So here's where the compressor meets the intake pipe on the Honeywell Turbo. That's about all we can show you because it's so compactly stuffed in. And I will show you also a couple other things in here. Talking about stuffed in, this is the Bosch ABS analog braking module and it's stuffed between the firewall and the engine. Not a very convenient place if you ever have to take it out or replace it. I'm thinking you probably have to take the whole engine out to get to it. Maybe not, but pretty close. The last thing I want to talk about is this cheap-ass battery box that comes with the vehicle. I don't know what this is made out of. Probably unobtainium, but it's not very good. Kind of cheap. You can actually get a really nice Volkswagen box that goes on here. And that's what we'll eventually do, and we'll make a video. So that covers it for the engine compartment. So here's a view of the trunk. I would say it's more than spacious, certainly enough for four or five dead bodies, or maybe three or four illegal aliens, depending on what you're doing in life. It has the uh, cargo blocks that stick on here so you can hold your cargo in place, and it comes with this emergency Volkswagen roadside assistance kit, which includes all sorts of stuff made in China. Um, so that's in here. Anyway, big trunk. Lots of sound dampening, very, very quiet vehicle. So that's all there is for the trunk. Our vehicle came from the dealer with monster mats and it has a faux leather interior, but it has a real leather wrapped steering wheel. And again, um, this color of the interior is called Titan Black. Looks pretty nice, has lots of features. Um, we'll sit down and try to describe a few of the things that it comes with. There's also some cup holders and the normal accoutrements that you would find on any vehicle. And first, before we sit down and go through the front features, we'll look at the back seat first. So here's the rear seat door panel. It has the standard accoutrements for a nice vehicle, such as electric windows and switches that you can open and close the door with as far as door locks go. And then there's a center console that comes down for an armrest for the rear passengers and Again, the uh, rear also has the monster mats. And that's about all there is for the rear interior. So this is the luxury version and it comes with a engine start stop push button type arrangement, similar to a lot of other cars nowadays. So transmissions, like anything else, you just select whichever selector range you want. Um, has a e-brake here has a place here for like electronics, but 
I think also because of Europeans they like to smoke a lot it's probably really for a cigarette lighter which sounds all right to me um, all of your environmental controls are right here so you can control um, whether you want it to blow in from outside which is uh, right here and you can select which vents you want the uh, fan speed is here and then your temperature range is selectable here not quite as nice as our Suzuki which we were able to program in actual control temperatures but still very nice it has a nice radio in it and it has multimedia capability and it also has a backup camera so when you back up it turns on the backup camera and you can see where you're backing up into <clears throat> so that's a nice thing to have comes with a analog clock here it also comes with a clock here and it also comes with a clock in the center console way too many clocks for me and um, it has a, the normal items on the steering wheel and the various instrument cluster here for your turn signals and brights and things like that it has the automatic lights that that turn on when you're driving during the day if you set it to auto which i like that was the same as our suzuki had great feature or you can turn them off if you wish and um i prefer to keep them in auto because i like to have daylight daytime running lights again a leather wrapped steering wheel up here <clears throat> there's a place where you can put things like your sunglasses or whatever you want to hide maybe a little miniature derringer or something i don't think so um, it has the normal lights that you can turn on and off and the mirrors that are here and they light up when you uh, slide it back and forth and it has a five star crash rating for almost every category i think there's one that is slightly it's got four stars on but it's got an overall safety um, classification that really is just top of the line and it's very comfortable to sit in i find it a little hard to get in and out of but it's still very nice and that's pretty much everything in the front there's obviously a glove box here and it comes with a nice um, leatherette manual holder it's fake leatherette of course like everything else is made of plastic of some kind anyway that's it that for the uh, interior oh one thing i forgot to mention was the heated seats you gotta have that here in phoenix when it's 110. so you just turn on the heat seat uh, heated seats and they actually have three ranges of heat low medium and high so when it's 110 outside you can make it 150 inside whatever suits your comfort so the passat limited came with alloy wheels these are 17 inch with um, hand cooked 215 wide tires and nothing much to say about them except that they look great so here's a view from the back the only thing i can say about the exhaust tip is it's pretty plain so we're going to try to find something nice that looks a little bit nicer and so we'll do that obviously in a later video so our vehicle came stock with really dark tinted windows you can see the rear window has a defroster built in and you really need tinted windows out here in the phoenix area because it's so hot and there's so much sun as a matter of fact we're filming inside today because it's so bright outside we get total washout on our camera so we're walking up towards the side and you can see um, basically what the thing looks like from the side and the only thing i would have added if it was available which i don't think it is would be some body side molding and i think they did that because it might ruin the beautiful german looks of this vehicle so here in the front you can kind of see what the front grille and front hood looks like it's a nice looking car drives really really well very very quiet i'm very impressed overall with what you get for your money okay so that's about all there is to this video we'd like to thank you for watching and for being a regular watcher of our videos and be looking for some videos in the future of different items we'll be doing to this vehicle and maybe some maintenance items and so that's all there is to it thanks for watching choose